Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is a tutorial for KeyPass password safe. And what this is, is a password manager slash generator. And this is a, something great if you have a lot of passwords that you have a hard time remembering. And if you don't change your passwords frequently because you don't want to keep remembering passwords, this is a great tool for you to use. Um, I'm going to go to the downloads page here. Just so you can see, um, these are ports of this application. It's natively built for Windows, but it, it has been ported over to Linux, Mac, Android, iPhone, Blackberry, etc., etc. I have the uh, classic edition for Windows, and the reason I have that is, A, obviously I'm on Windows, but B the Android version only lets you edit the classic edition database files. If you select the professional edition, you can still use and see those passwords on your phone. You just can't edit and generate new ones on your phone. So that's why I stuck with the classic edition because I like to sometimes generate passwords on my phone <clears throat> rather than on my PC. So if you select this, it's going to give you uh, exe file to install onto your machine. Once that installs, this is what the KeyPass interface looks like. On first install, there's nothing in the window. Um, so what you want to do here is you go to New. It's going to ask you for a master password. So for just this demo, I'm going to use one two three four. But of course. In practice, you would want to use something a little more complex, especially if, say, your laptop or your mobile device gets stolen. This is something that is not easy to guess. And the file itself does get encrypted, so there's no worry about it being opened easily, um, or at all for that fact. This uses AES encryption, which is pretty strong. And so I'm just going to hit OK. Enter the 1234 password again. Okay, you can see on the left side, there's some groups that have been created that are pre-populated into this list. These are groups. What you can do is you can add groups, you can add subgroups, you can edit or delete this group, and then of course you can rearrange them to organize it to your liking. I'm just going to leave this for the demo right now. What I'm going to do is add entry. And you can see right now it's going to be put into the general group. I want to put this in the internet group. You can change the icon. There's a list of icons you can pick here. I'll just go with this one for now. Title. I'm going to pretend this is going to be my Amazon password. Username. YouTubers. And then the password fields here are already pre-populated. Um, if I press this button here, it shows me what the actual password is. You can erase both of those entries and enter in your own password if you like. Or, if you click on this button here, you're given some options to generate a random password. You can change the length of the password. You can change uh, what special characters are used in the password. And you could specify extra characters to use in the password. And then you can use some of these options down here to get even more advanced. Uh, just for this demo, I'm going to stick with these options up here. If I hit generate, it will show me a new password that's been created. So if I hit accept, that password now gets passed over to these fields. For URL, I'm going to put in Amazon.com. And then you can add some notes if you like. You can also have it expire. Uh, I personally like to set my passwords to expire every three months just so that I'm always changing my passwords and they're not, you know, passwords that become stale. So I, I hit OK. And now if I go to Internet, because that's the group that I created it in, we have this right here. So if I select on that, you get the URL, which is an actual link down here. It's going to expire on August 3rd. 
which basically just means that on August 3rd, when you go to open it, it's going to prompt you to create a new password. And at that time, you would want to go and log into your Amazon account and change your password as well. Um, so if I click on the URL here, I'm sorry, down here, it's actually going to open Amazon.com for me. And then, if I double click on the username, you see on the bottom it says field copied to clipboard and will be cleared in, you know, a couple seconds. I'm going to double click on that again, go to sign in, right click and paste, and you see it pastes my username in there. And then same thing for the password. Double click on that and paste. And it will paste your password. And if you don't believe me, paste up there. And that's the password that we created. So great tool. You could see you no longer have to remember passwords if you want. Um, you can just store them all in this uh, utility. And once you're you know done with this, what you're going to want to do is you save your database. If I go to save as, you can see I have my Dropbox selected as where I'm going to save it to. And the reason I'm going to do that, I'll show you, I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, I have a database in here already. So I'm just going to call this uh, demo. Hit save. And then let me move this over here. Let's go back to the key pass home page. So on my mobile device, which you'll see on the left here, I've got my Dropbox folder. Just hit the refresh button. And the demo.kdb database file shows up. If I select on that in my Dropbox, just go to open. It's currently downloading the database file. And once that's downloaded, it will open. You can see at the top, KeePass Droid. This is the Android version of KeePass. So I want to just select that file. It's already selected. And you can choose to use that as your default or not. And then if I enter the password, oops, go to numbers. Remember the number we used was one, two, three, four. Hit OK. It opens. I go to general. I go to internet. There's that entry we've created. If I open that, you could see it copies the password and username of the clipboard. So if I just click on the URL, or press on it, I should say, go to Amazon.com. And once it's loaded up there, just for the sake of demonstration purposes, going to copy username to clipboard. If I press and hold on there, I can do paste. And you can see it has copied and pasted that information. So again, this is KeePass. If you have Dropbox, it's a great way to keep passwords synced between your mobile device and your PC. And if you just want a good password manager, this is a great app for that. So this is KeePass, available for uh, various devices, as you've seen on the home page there. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot.